Hi, my name is David Parker. I'm the CEO and founder of Polymath Consulting, and I've been proud to mentor Cybertonica. It's very exciting because I think I've probably got the most exciting company here today to present. And the reason for that is two simple reasons. They're going after a market that's got double or triple digit growth in every single country, the e-commerce market. And secondly, what they're doing for retailers is preventing their fraud and basket drop-off. That's worth millions. So a big market and a big solution with a big need. Cybertonica. Hi, everybody. I'm Joshua, and I'm CEO of Cybertonica. Now, I want you all, we're going to use you as a cloud base here. First of all, this part of the audience is going to remember that Cybertonica uses artificial intelligence to do payment approvals in the e-commerce. So that's how big our market is. I want this part of the audience to remember that although we do fraud prevention, the way we make money is recovering revenue. There's $200 billion lost every year from abandoned carts. Did you know that? That's a big chunk of change. And over, great, great, great job. You're fired. Okay, and over here, I want you guys to remember this number, $36 million. That's the money, the extra money we made for our first customer in just nine months of replacing their system with our system. Finally, I want you guys to remember that the team we have has 75 years of experience collectively, five guys, in digital payments, security, and banking inf infrastructure. So we're ready to go, and we want you all to be, have a chance to be part of what we're doing. We have our first customers, and we're rolling, and we want to raise today $1.5 million. So anybody who's intelligent about the e-commerce growth, get with us. Our booth is over there. Thanks very much. Oh, well. Basically, I want to start by telling you a little story um, that's related to what we do. I mean, oh, okay. you let the music die. Okay, we're good. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about security in airports for a second, because this is kind of similar to what we do. I mean, if you think about it, what we want to do is know who, where, who has the dangerous bags and not let them get on that plane, right? But at the same time, for that, we need to do automation and we need infrastructure. Otherwise, it would be a very difficult task. And in fact, in e-commerce on, on, on the internet, what's going on is we're checking 50 to 70% of all the passengers. I mean, uh, this is checked and over-checked. And these people are abandoning their flight. They don't want to pay because they are hassled by the checking or they don't have the password. And what we thought was this is a real shame because this is leading to a huge problem. In an airport, it would leave the airplanes leaving empty, right? That's no business model. You can't make money. Uh, and the e-commerce uh, problem is that the money will go elsewhere because people are buying. In fact, it's called the tragedy of the abandoned cart, right? And that it's about 30% of all e-commerce volume in the world. This is a 200 to 300 billion dollar problem a year for e-commerce and mobile commerce. And we thought that's wrong and we wanted to create something which, which would take away the friction at checkout that's cause, causing this problem. I mean, you know yourselves that these forms these are not now technology, right? These forms are basically designed around the paper that used to be filled in on a machine at hand, right? And they don't fit on mobile. And when you get them in a foreign language, you don't understand it. Uh, so this 3DS system is an old style system that kills conversion. And merchants know about this and payment service providers know about this. So the first thing we, we thought was, why don't we use artificial intelligence to deliver frictionless customer checkout? Because with the proper intelligence about uh, a person and some history, we can know well ahead of the payment page what risk this person represents in dynamic real time. Um, we can take away all these problems that plague merchants and, and payment service providers, particularly false positives, which is basically where you're telling a perfectly good customer with their money in their hand to pay, go away, I don't want your money. Uh, this is a larger problem than you probably think. Uh, depending on the sources of the uh, information that you, the data you look at, is between 11 and 40 percent of all uh, transactions. So we wanted to take this idea and go global with it, and so we put together this world-class team of people who together have about 75 years of experience in digital banking, digital products, payments, and of course we have our coding guru, the CTO, Sergey, who's here, um, and David Parker, who's one of the top consultants in the payments industry in Europe or in the world, in fact, uh, who's our advisor. We've done 18 months of coding, and we're now live. The product is live with PFPs and merchants. 
and we're growing that list of um, uh, of customers. We have nine developers based in Russia, and then we've created the UK company now that owns the Russian company, and we're developing from here uh, within the EU code. What is our secret sauce? Basically, what we've added to the mix is the browsing histories. So we're analyzing well over 5,000 events per second to do this, and we're taking the browsing histories, transaction histories, and of course all the databases available, and then the biometrics of the device itself. So we have that all of that together in one machine learning that gives us a fraud score that's going to be highly accurate, much more accurate than these old forms that fraudsters know how to get around. And because of that, we can recover a lot of that lost revenue. A lot of people we work with say that this is a really bright idea. With some of these people, we've already signed LOIs. Uh, some of them represent our infrastructure partners, and we're going forward with them. And we also are entering other areas uh, and other vectors for the technology to be useful. Basically, what we came up with is automated fraud prevention for everyone selling online or authenticating online. And it's a SaaS offer, of course. It's plug and play, pretty much. Uh, it's just a couple, uh, couple days of coding to get it rolling. And it's an easy deployment because it's, of course, structured in the cloud. And this gives us a, a real upside because on top of that, it's very effective. So up to 80% lower fraud reported from our customer base. And what you see here is not, it's not an abstract painting, although it could be framed, I love it. It's actually real-time fraud dashboard for one of our telco customers, telling them that one of their accounts was charged up by 1,200 different stolen cards, right? This is information you want to know. And they were unable to know it without applying our system. And they had state-of-the-art system in place before we came. So for one client, we also grew revenues $36 million in nine months. This means we reclaimed revenue that they were losing because they were closing the door to their own customers. And we now have seven customers. So if you can do easy math, you can see the kind of upside potential we have as a business. And we're going to these four uh, geographies very uh, strategically because we know this is where there's very high growth in e-commerce in the future or where there's already well-installed bases that need our technology. So there are a million customers out there. Every month there are new customers, people selling on the web, new service providers. And they do $100 billion of business a month right now. And that's between five and 10 billion transactions a month, depending how you judge the e-commerce world. That's important for us because our business model is some pennies per transaction plus a cut of the upside over time, right? And this can make for a very profitable business. And that's why we would encourage you to think about investing with us. We're looking for 600,000 pounds. We're actually looking for $1.5 million, but we've got some money in. So we uh, encourage those who know about this industry uh, to come with us on a, on a very big adventure. Thanks very much. Um, I'm here, Sergey, our CTO, Vladimir, our COO is here. And we also have David Parker here, who's a, a well-known payment consultant. And Melika, our market analyst, is running around uh, analyzing the market. Oh, there she is in the back. So please ask questions, and we'll explain whatever else you need to know. Thank you very much.